What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, I'll be going through my most underrated tool for fashion sportswear photography. And it's this 100 millimeter macro USM lens from Canon. Welcome to Fit Design TV. On this channel, we'll explore what it takes to make it as an active wear fashion brand, whilst providing tips, tricks, and actionable steps towards starting your own product line. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start your own brand or just someone interested in fitness fashion, there's something for you here. Before we start, I'll explain a little bit about what a macro lens is and what that entails. A macro lens is a lens that works on creating a one-to-one -one reproduction of an image. It allows you to focus on that image from extremely close. With this specific lens, you can focus in on an image or your subject as close to 30 centimeters. And that's not 30 centimeters from the end of the barrel, that's 30 centimeters from where the subject is hitting and where the light enters the sensor. So you can get really, really close. And that's not something that's possible with most non-macro lenses. So the question that you might have is why can't I just take my kit lens and zoom it into 135 and get in really close to whatever it is I'm shooting and I can then have a macro lens. Why do I have to spend a thousand dollars on a macro lens? That's pretty much because of the way that the mechanism works with a macro lens. The lenses within the body or the barrel are arranged in a way that allow you to focus in at these insanely close distances and to create a super sharp image and it's ultimately being able to grab that focus that's so close. If you take any other lens that is non-macro and you zoom in and you get that close to your subject, there's no way that you're going to be able to get your image in focus and ultimately output the type of image that you want. Why is this important in sportswear? When we think about sports where we think about portrait photography, we think about shooting on site, we shoot about shooting on scene. We don't necessarily think about shooting up and close, right? Macro photography is for shooting wildlife or insects or water droplets or whatever it may be. But I think that this is the most underrated way to give your brand added appeal to make it look so much more professional. As we know, fashion is all about details. It's all about the added layer of context and professionalism that we can bring to our product, whether it's the material, the texture, the fibers, um, the stitching, the finishing, um, the prints, uh, the type of wash that's on a fabric. Being able to convey those items in the way that we market our products gives our brand a new layer of life and an added element of professionalism. And with a macro lens, you're going to be able to achieve that. What I love about this specific Canon 100mm USM is a couple things. One, its f-stop is quite low. So being a prime, what is a prime before we get into that? A prime is a lens that is able to have one focal distance. So this one is a 100mm, it's a bit longer. What you notice with most macro lenses is that they're typically longer than 50 or 60 millimeters. Same thing with a telephoto, but a telephoto, what it's able to do is it's able to focus on distance is a lot longer than what a macro lens. So it's basically the opposite of a macro lens. A macro lens is up and close, a telephoto is really far. Telephoto is what we see uh, on the sidelines in an, in an NFL game. You're, be able, you're able to get really far away from your subject and to zoom in quite close and to still capture those details. So both have their uses, but I love macro photography for products to bring out the true details. And because, like I said, this is a prime, it's going to be super, super sharp at its specific focal length. Versus a kit lens, which you could also bump up to 100, you're going to find that both of these lenses, one shot from the same distance, assuming that you're going to have to get further away from your subject for your 100 millimeter kit lens to shoot, you're going to have a lot more sharpness and detail in your 100 millimeter macro. And being a prime, typically the f-stops are going to be lower. So what that means is you're going to be able to let a lot more light in, give in a lot more detail information. You're not going to have to bump up your ISO as high to compensate for lower light. So it's also good in lower light situations. Overall, being that it's a prime lens, it just comes with a lot of added benefits that outweigh the fact that you can only shoot at that specific focal length. 
And why that works so well with a macro lens is, with a macro lens, you're only going to want to shoot that specific scenario. There are other scenarios where using a 50 is suitable or a 35 is suitable. That being said, I love this as well. And why I think it's super underrated is because it does have some versatility to it. What is that versatility? I think it does great with portrait photography. Because of that one to one representation or ability to represent a subject, it's great for shooting models because it doesn't distort them or their features or what they're wearing and you're still going to be able to blow out that background giving it a very nice contrasted look, a focused look at the model and that book is just going to make it look a lot more professional and just appealing to anyone that's looking at your image. So one great way to add some professionalism to your shoots is by having a lens that is super sharp but has a high f-stop that's going to allow it to blow out that background and to really give a cinematic and dramatic look to your product. This lens in particular overcomes what a lot of macro lenses struggle with, with is because it's a longer focal length and it's a macro lens, it magnifies the item and what happens with that is it, any other macro lens will really pick up any small movements in your hand and that makes it almost impossible to shoot things like videos with your macro lens. This one has in-body stabilization. What that's gonna do is that it's gonna compensate for the small movements in your hand and it's gonna counteract them and it's going to try to keep your image as stable as possible. That added with the in-body stabilization that you may get from your mirrorless camera or any other camera that you're using, plus the stabilization that you can do in post, it's going to allow you to create really elegant and smooth detailed venue shots of your products, which in sportswear is going to give your brand that added amazing professionalism and just gonna make you look a lot more ready to show your product. So that's pretty much the main idea as to why I think that this lens is super underrated, especially in the sportswear space. I highly recommend anyone that's looking to graduate beyond their first one or two lenses and wants to give their brand an added level of professionalism or if you're a photographer shooting for sportswear fashion brands, don't neglect macro photography, don't neglect this specific lens because it is going to give you the added versatility of shooting macro and shooting portraits while still having a great ability to just bring out the details in your subject either from far or from close great color representation great ratio representation without any distortions very minimal vignetting and then overall just a greatly built solid package it's going to be able to take a couple hits it's not a cheap lens and it's not a lens that you're going to have to be worried about damaging or whether or not you're, you're going to need to be overly delicate with it it's going to be able to accompany you to your shoots wherever you're going and with sports where you're obviously moving the subject is not necessarily always going to be static so having that ability to have a lens that's going to hold up over time is key if there are any other lenses that you think are super underrated for fashion photography do feel free to leave them in the comments i'd love to hear what you guys think is a uh, best kept secret in this space i definitely think that this is a best kept secret for fashion photography highly recommend you guys Check it out, let me know what you think. Until next time, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of a different piece of content. At Fit Design, we are passionate, not only about design, but about creating content around the amazing designs that we get to make. And that's both photo and video content. So we will be bringing more videos related to this topic. If you are interested, smash a thumbs up. Let us know what other videos related to video or photo you wanna see. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Stay awesome.